were on the call. So go ahead and unmute yourself, please, ma'am. It's the same Fuchsia one for the lady at your studio? Yes, and actually I had it here. So I put the proper undergarments and I put it on so that oh, you guys can see oh, it. Oh, perfect. Let I, me didn't make have, this. I didn't have any pictures. Um, because as usual, our fittings, I only have two minutes to fit her like between lessons. Uh, so for everything, I just put it on. Okay, well then I'm you're the so, spotlight. Okay. Go right ahead. This. I, uh, I can, so I can show you guys that. Oh. So it moves a lot, which yeah. I already figured out I can close this hem. Yes. And that reduces it a bit. This side is open, so I, you know, what, what, I don't think that there is something that we can do. And she lost weight. So if you remember, she the was, last she, time she had put on you weight. saw it, I thought I was going to have to take this skirt out. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to let this skirt out. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, it's like, just way too loose. Like, I, like, I would need to take in this side seam probably two inches. So that's adding to, you know, what, how kind of right. it's not very well fitted okay. on her body when she wears it. Then you need to, did you already let out the skirt after our last discussion? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't because I knew that she would lose weight okay. once the city reopened. So, so you actually need to charge her for extra fitting times and extra alterations okay because of this because now if she is now smaller than when you first made the dress and you've already wasted a fitting because she was bigger you need to charge her more yeah and not feel the least bit guilty about it because you have hours of extra time in in here because her weight keeps fluctuating that's not yeah. your fault right and and you should not have to do that free of charge Hang there on, was you... one more question there okay. about the skirt. Skirt, is, can you, you hear me? Yes. Sorry. It was that when before, before I added the tassels, of course, we tried it on everything. We were happy with the line. Once, and I also want to think this might be because she lost weight, it might be hanging a little longer, the mm -hmm. skirt. And plus these tassels are about three inches and she's petite. So she's, you know, five, three, I mm -hmm. want to say. On me, I'm five nine, and now with these tassels, this is this is fairly long. It's a, it's a so great length on you, yeah. It, it's it's perfect for me, but for her, it is just too long. And again, it was fine when we tried it uh -huh. before adding all of this weight. We liked the length, and that's why I tried it on her again before I did any more stoning because I was nervous about it. But I need to shorten it. So I'm wondering what's the easiest and best way for me to do that from the top, because what I had done was pinned it on her, mm -hmm. uh, just raised basically the attachment line, the proper amount, but I have these cutouts, so I can only go so far. Okay. Or do I literally need to like cut, <sighs> you know, cut the hem to shorten it? These mirrors are, are uh, they're sewn on, so it's mm -hmm. okay, I can just remove that. But then I have to obviously restitch all the tassels, but. What a nightmare. <laughs> okay, yeah. were the tassels part of the original design? Yes, and I knew they would get make it heavier from Andrea's dress. So that's why that was kind of the first embellishment I added and why I asked her to try it once I added those. Yes. I had pinned a few on before I stoned them and added the balls. Um, and it and it didn't, it wasn't, I, I don't know. I guess it wasn't because it wasn't all of them or because it didn't have the stones, it didn't quite pull it down as much. Okay. And since she lost weight, I'm sure that it looks longer oh, yeah. because. Absolutely. You know, it's not hanging the same way off of her body. Right. So, yeah, yeah, it needs to be shorter. Weight loss will always, always, always make a dress, a skirt longer. It doesn't matter if it's a ball gown skirt or a short skirt. It doesn't, I mean, doesn't matter. So yes, that is twofold, partially the weight, partially the weight loss. 
I'm, this is a nightmare dress. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, it's trial by fire. <laughs> um, so On a good note, your suggestion about the wriggling boning here worked excellently. So this is, I, I'm really happy with how this looks, oh, yeah, looks how it fills out there and how it stays straight. So yeah, that was for <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you've done a beautiful job on this. You really have. It's just never ending. And I'm getting possibly as much frustrated as you are because I know how horrible it feels to, to be working on a dress like this. Yeah. Um, and this was your first big commission and your profits are whittling away. I know. So you need to absolutely charge her more for the weight loss because that is hours yeah. more work. Yeah. But, um, I don't know that I would charge her for all of the skirt issues because part of that was your issue with the weight yeah. of the things. Um, I have two, two questions. Um, the, the young lady who was working on a beautiful pink dress for mm -hmm. a client, at what point can you kind of say, I mean, it looks like this decline now has got a new body altogether. Yeah. And so if the input of the design came from, let's say, the young lady who designed it, at what point she says, you know what, maybe that's not the right dress for you. What, how about a new design? Uh, that should happen way earlier <laughs> than her current state. Because if I look at the dress on her, it's fantastic. And now right. it seems like... It seems like it's so much work right now. It's not right. her fault that the, she's got a new body. Yeah. Tricky, I guess, eh? Um, it is. The stress has been going on for a long time. And the woman, to recap for everybody, lost weight, or she was one size, Lauren did a fitting, then she gained weight, and then she lost weight. And now apparently she has lost even more weight than initially. And Sylvie's question basically is, when do you say enough? I'm not working on this anymore, or you need, do you need a new dress? Um, I think this dress looks okay on the lady. I haven't seen her on her this time, but yeah, it's a lot of work. So definitely Lauren needs to charge her client more because mm -hmm. of the weight loss. Had she done any work during the weight gain period, then she should also charge her for the weight gain. But apparently all she did was a fitting. Now, you know, if she only did a 20 minute fitting, she could charge her for the 20 minutes. An attorney certainly would, right? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, what do you call, in the UK, it's what, a barrister. A barrister would charge you in what, five or 10 minute increments. So Lauren could absolutely do that if she wanted. She is a new dressmaker. I don't know that she should charge the lady for everything because some of it is her learning curve, but the weight loss and weight gain is absolutely a client issue. But that's why I also, when I charge a client, I give them several hundred dollars difference, sometimes three or 400. I might say the price of the ball gown is 2,800 to 3,400. And that way I have leeway in there to deal mm -hmm. with issues like Lauren where it's taking longer without having to make the client feel like they're being nickeled and dimed. Does that make sense? So never straight quote your client, never. <laughs> because then if you have to come back and say, oh, well, it's going to be this extra for that because you gained weight, this extra for that because you lost weight, this extra because you're a pain in the ass, <laughs> then the, the client really starts to feel not appreciated. Whereas if you just gave yourself this large ballpark, you can say, okay, well, she was an easy client. It only took me one fitting. I will charge her on the low end of that ball, that range. Or she was a difficult client with a lot of fitting changes and you know all these difficult things. I'm gonna charge her the maximum I quoted her. So it's easier for you, it's easier for them. I learned that the hard way. Yeah, no kidding, I bet. because the pricing varies a little bit from country to country. So let's say in um, Europe, it would cost more than if you were in Czechoslovakia, okay? Or Lithuania or something, okay? Or Russia. So that, that price difference has, is also variable. So I would say research 
other dressmakers in your part of the world. Because you're part of the EU, you are there in prime, prime prices. <laughs> Does that make sense? And with you, it's easy. Just go to Chris Ann, and there would obviously be the upper end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And then who in your area is charging the lowest? Mm -hmm.